Oh, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Puglo Escobar, and in today's video we'll be taking a look at the OB9F and the OB9F Cabrio, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, the standard retailing for $120,000 only, uh, and it's $130,000 if you want the Cabrio, ladies and gentlemen. In terms of looks, I'm sure you'll agree it's uh, more serious than a coughing fit in a room full of sleeping tigers. Okay, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to uh, send you on uh, the initial lap and see how it does. Okay, now, in terms of acceleration, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it's sort of, I mean, much like the uh, the German army in World War II, it's surprisingly quick to set off, you know? Uh, in terms of handling, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it's sort of, I mean, its, it's back end is more likely to swing and kick out than a, a drunken gypsy in a bar fight, you know? Uh, and in terms of uh, top end speed, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it's uh, faster than a French floozy you will fumble with your phallus, you know? Okay, so there we are, ladies and we're going to have a look at the acceleration one more time as Mr. Raccoon comes flying past the steering. Okay, there you can see. I think it's uh, rather, uh, just taking a little time here to speed uh, the, uh, the stability, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, uh, okay, you can really get a good chance to have a look at it. Okay, we'll have a look at that stability one more time. Okay, so in a straight line, ladies and gentlemen, the stability is not too bad. Uh, when you're going around corners, I can assure you it's really awful, don't you know? Okay, well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, sorting out bloody car, right? Okay, came out of sorry nowhere. Uh, like I say, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, in terms of uh, acceleration, ladies and gentlemen, it's not too bad. Uh, in terms of uh, top end speed, ladies and gentlemen, it's very, very good. The handling, I'm afraid, is where it all goes wrong with this particular vehicle, don't you know? Uh, unless one brakes uh, heavily before the corners, uh, uh, then it's, uh, it's all over. You, know? you certainly can't brake and go around the corner at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, or the back end will kick down. Okay, well, that's the standard lap, ladies and gentlemen, as it is, you know. And so now we're going to take the vehicle on inside to the custom auto shop and go and have uh, the necessary modifications uh, performed and completed the vehicle. Okay, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we are inside the custom auto shop, as doubtlessly you can see. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, we will be going through this section of the video at double speed, just in order to hurry things along somewhat, but uh, still provide you, the viewer, with the opportunity of having a look at the, uh, having a look at the different modifications. Uh, that can be affected to this vehicle uh, in terms of the stylistic elements and uh, the aesthetic elements, you know. Uh, should you then choose to go ahead and purchase the thing, you know? Uh, and uh, as a general rule, ladies and gentlemen, we do normally go ahead and cut out uh, some of more of the uh, some more of the performance-related modifications in terms of uh, top uh, in terms of um, uh, turbo, ladies and gentlemen, engine tuning, transmission, uh, suspension, that kind of thing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but uh, there are very, very few uh, modifications that can be affected to this vehicle. So we decided to keep that at uh, that particular section in. Uh, now, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the fact that there are very few modifications that can be affected the, to this vehicle, it should be pointed out. This is a very, very cheap vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. The sort of vehicle that can be pulled off the street, uh, or you can pay $120,000 for it, you know. And so, uh, yes, in terms of modifications, ladies and gentlemen, there's not a great deal that can be done to it. But uh, that's no real uh, sort of detraction, you know. It's a very cheap vehicle. One wouldn't necessarily expect it. Okay. Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have now uh, four the upgrades, and we're going to send the vehicle out and see how they handle. Well, two uh, Obey 9S, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to see what they can do. Okay, well, in terms of acceleration, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it launches off faster than a V2 rocket to London. You know, it's as simple as that. Uh, in terms of top-end speed, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it moves quicker than a European colonizer and an inhabited land mass, you know? And in uh, terms of... Uh, in terms of handling, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, the back end is more unstable than Kanye West and Shia LaBeouf in a bar fight with a gypsy. So, yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, what can one say? I mean, the handling is absolutely ruddy awful, the top end speed is very good, ladies and gentlemen, and the acceleration is appreciable as well. Okay, yeah, that's the upgraded version. Solving car, can't avoid it, bloody hell. Okay, well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, now, that is the standard lap, I like I said, we've given a fairly uh, succinct review of the vehicle, but now we're going to go and see uh, uh, what different, uh, more, uh, what, what the, uh, how can perform in different tests. So the first thing we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is send it on up to uh, the top speed test track, you know, uh, and I'm sure you'll agree, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, this thing looks more stylish than an adulterous Italian aristocrat now, doesn't it? 
Okay, so we've got the Cabrio going down alongside the 9F, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to see what both of these vehicles can do, don't you know? And so uh, the uh, 9F, ladies and gentlemen, 55.267, and the Cabrio, ladies and gentlemen, 55.55. Oh, okay, so the very first test that we're going to undertake, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the 9F versus the 9F Cabrio. Uh, just to give you an indication, ladies and gentlemen, uh, of how these cars stack up against each other, uh, and I'll go right ahead and explain, ladies and gentlemen, cut to the chase. They're effectively identical, ladies and gentlemen, as far as we've been able to ascertain the only difference between these two vehicles is the, uh, the side panel and the roof can come down. Uh, Mr. Raccoon thinks there's a uh, difference in the look. He thinks they are the 9F is more like the uh, T team and I do agree. Whoops, uh, Days is in the air. Also, ladies and gentlemen, this car has a rich time staying on the ground, as we pointed out. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, these cars are pretty much identical in terms of performance and it's as simple as that and they are the same car. Okay, so uh, the very first vehicle we're going to bring out for these rounds of test ladies and gentlemen is going to be the Fista Comet, don't you know? Uh, retailing for price of $100,000 only. It's a very, very fine car ladies and gentlemen for the money. Uh, and we're going to now see how the OB 9F stacks up against it. I'll also take this opportunity to point out that all of the other vehicles are being driven by Mr. Raccoon, you know his name is the Bromby, he has a channel of his own. It is called the Bromby, if you have that on YouTube then you should be able to go and find it in one minute. That's got some other good videos on there. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Fista Comet cannot take down the Obe 9F, and there we go, uh, as we put it out, it's fully upgraded, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, the Comet. Okay, so the next vehicle we're going to bring out, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the Garotti, it is the Garotti Carbonizer, the, the important name, Garotti, if uh, you don't count the Pistro, and no one ever should, uh, it's the Carbonizer, uh, $195,000, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so near it down to $200,000 for this particular vehicle, and we're going to, uh, we're going to see how these two vehicles stack up against it. Okay, so uh, neck and neck, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, pretty much coming down the back there, but no, uh, the carbonizer has got more top end speed, ladies and gentlemen. And well, we are going to catch a little bit of ground here. Yes, the carbonizer crosses in front of us in front of the surprise. Okay, so the uh, very next vehicle we're going to bring out, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be the Anis Elegy, don't you know? Now, this vehicle can uh, be found for free on the Legendary Motors, by the, uh, Legendary Motors Sports website if I want to enjoy the Rockstar Social Club online. I really would recommend you do that ladies and gentlemen, simply uh, yeah, it's an email address ladies and gentlemen, get you a free car, it's as simple as that. Okay, well there we are, it's a very fine car as well ladies and gentlemen, anyone who's familiar with the LG knows that it is quite good, it performs quite well ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but the simple truth of it is, yes, the, uh, the 9F, ladies and gentlemen, once it's been upgraded, I uh, will take down an upgraded LG, and that's as simple as that. Okay, so uh, the very next vehicle we're going to bring out now, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a supercar. This is a $2 million supercar, give or take and change, you know. Uh, it's the Embraer ETR1, ladies and gentlemen. It's about $1,950,000, something like that, not entirely certain. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, it has the devil's own time uh, trying to beat anything around this track that we found out. I and mean, that does, in fact, include the OB 9F. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, $120,000 taking down a $2 million uh, supercar. And uh, the long short of it is turned by the Emperor EDR1. Okay, so uh, now we're going to bring out the uh, the overflowed Morgan, ladies and gentlemen. It's really getting at about $2.1 million, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very, very fast car. It's got very, very good acceleration. Uh, it's my idea to bring out this vehicle and uh, Mr. Rack. Who was saying, why? God's earth, you want to bring that out? I said, well, bring it out. Well, we might stand a chance to say, won't try to stand a solid chance, Mr. Uh, Pug Dog. I said, shut your face and bring out the uh, Morgan, Mr. Raccoon. And then he did, and then it beat me around the track, and I felt like an absolute damn fool. But uh, what can you do about it, ladies and gentlemen? Not much you can do if you're a Pug Dog. You just gotta sit behind the Morgan and uh, shut your face, bite your tongue, you know? Anyway, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna start to wrap things up. Now, that, oh, this actually is, uh, this is the vehicle that uh, drew our attention to the 9F in the first place, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for those of you who do not know, uh, for the hose at home, for the uninitiated, shall we say. Uh, this vehicle is what we like to refer to as a serious contender. It is, ladies and gentlemen, the benefactor Serrano, retailing for $110,000 only. It is a very, very fine car, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it was pulling in front of us there. Unfortunately, I crashed into Mr. Raccoon and uh, sent him slightly behind us there, so we're going to cross the line first. But effectively, ladies and gentlemen, these two cars pretty much perform uh, identically, as you can see there. So both very, very fine cars for money. Okay, uh, so the very next vehicle we're going to bring out, ladies and gentlemen, we'll try and wrap things up. As I say, this is, of course, big. 
that easy. It is the Pegasus Centauro, retailing for $725,000, ladies and gentlemen. What we have hold on the shelf to be a very high watermark uh, in terms of uh, car performance on the game for money, you know, uh, in terms of you know, value for money, ladies and gentlemen. You really can't go wrong. And as you can see, the 9F is sat in front of the Zentorno there, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't believe it. And that really is absolutely shocking. Of course, the Zentorno won't stand for that. And uh, yes, it just crossed the line first in the end. There's only one more question, ladies and gentlemen. The Gloria Tally RSX, the final masquerade. And of course, if the 9F can't take down the Zentorno, not a solid chance it's going to be able to take down the RSX. So let's start to wrap things up, shall we? Uh, what can we say, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, in terms of looks, it's cooler than a snowboarding Yeti now, isn't it? Uh, in terms of uh, acceleration, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it's going to, you know, it's sort of faster to get started than the Nuremberg War Criminal Trials, you know. Uh, and uh, the handling, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, uh, you know, it, it's got all the handling of a monkey in a motorboat. It's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. And in terms of top-end speed, I mean, I mean, it moves faster than a rap star fleeing a paternity test. Uh, should you go ahead and buy it, and Mr. Raccoon, in my opinion, you know, it really is worth the money, so why the hell not? Not bloody hell, sodding raccoon. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.